In this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can add and customize typography sets in Thrive Team Builder. You can set up various typography sets and then when editing templates, switch in between them if you want to change the sets that should be applied to your templates. To set up one or more theme typography sets, you will first have to access the Thrive Team Builder dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we can go to the left set bar and access the typography section there. When you first open the section, this is what you will see. As you can see, we have a single default typography set, which is the one that is active at the moment and we don't have any other sets created. So this right here will be a preview of the default typography set that is used for any template. And from here, you will be able to edit, reset, rename it and so on. Let's take each option one by one. So first of all, we can rename it by hovering over the name right here and simply insert a new one. The name, as you can see, will immediately change. Then we can expand the set to see how each type of text looks like inside the respective set. So if you want to do that to expand this set and take a look at all of the text types, you can click on expand right here. And as you can see, you will have a preview of each text type right here. And then whenever you want, you can go back and collapse it back. Then we have this edit option right here, which is the one that will allow you to make any modifications to each text type. The editing process will be done in the Drive Team Builder editor. And if you want to access it and start editing each type of text, you can simply click on edit right here. And as you can see, the Drive Team Builder editor immediately opens. And from here, you are able to edit each text type to your liking. All you have to do is simply click on the type of text that you want to edit. For example, this is heading one and I've just selected it and you can customize it using the left sidebar options that you can see here. Since the typography sets consist of text elements, the options that appear in the left sidebar are the same ones as the text element options. And if you do need details about each of these options, please check out our text element tutorial. So after you finish customizing one typography set, all you have to do is click on save work and you can close the editor and go back to the Drive Team Builder dashboard where you will notice that the set preview will already inherit these modifications. And of course, if you ever want to go back and change the text styles again, you can simply go and edit this set. Now you can reset the typography set if you want. And to do that, you can simply click here on the reset option and confirm from this pop up. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can add numerous sets, customize each one as you please and only have one active set at a time. So if you want to do that and add more sets, you can use this option right here. And as you can see right below your currently active typography set, you will start seeing the other available typography sets. You can edit each one and as you create more sets, you are able to access the Drive Team Builder editor for each one and customize it to your liking. And more than that, for the typography sets that are not active, you will also have the option to remove them and this will delete them permanently. Now you can switch in between sets by making them active or inactive. When you create a new set, it will not become active automatically as you've just seen. It will be added to the other available typography sets and you can start customizing it. Now, if you want to make it the typography set that is active on your templates, what you have to do is click on the make active option that you see right here. And this will have the new set active on your templates and thus all over your website. Oh, this was a quick tutorial that showed you how you can create new typography sets, customize each of them and switch in between them. If you want to find out more information about various Drive features or settings and options, be sure to check out our tutorials from our knowledge base as well as YouTube channels.